Hello traders, this is Elizabeth Bilogina and you are watching daily stock market review by Tradimo. It's uh, Tuesday, April 16th and S&P 500 is trading near 6 month highs um, above 2900 level. However, we do not see any strong momentum uh, to the upside in the index. The main driver of the market is the US uh, earnings season. American companies report their financial results for the first quarter. However, results are mixed and so far um, the index didn't get the momentum to get higher. Uh, as a result, there is significant resistance at the previous high in the area of 20. 950 and to get above this level we need either some external information um, about the improved global economic growth or us china trade deal or some really impressive figures of american companies that will be next to report support is located around 29 level and around 2880 mark among the companies which uh, reported earnings, we have to mention BlackRock. Here, the decline in revenue and earnings was less than expected and the stock uh, surged uh, on the news. There are positive developments at the chart and it looks like the 200-day moving average in the area of uh, 440 will act as strong future support for the price. Bank of America released a weaker data and it opened with a gap to the downside. Then uh, this gap was closed. However, resistance above the level of 30 uh, will uh, create a significant obstacle for this stock. Johnson and Johnson uh, released strong uh, earnings and revenue data. However, so far it didn't manage to close above resistance in the area of 140, 140.30. So um, we cannot confirm a break to the upside and uh, the fix above this technical level is needed to open the way up to 143 and uh, the previous highs above 148 levels. Support on the other hand is located near 136.70, the 50-day moving average. Other market movers were uh, the stock of Boeing. Here you can see that the stock is uh, recovering from support and uh, it may be aiming to resistance in the area of 400. As the FAA um, approved the software the company uh, developed in order to fix the problem with its um, 737 MAX jets, uh, this is a good piece of news which may um, give positive momentum to the price in the upcoming trading sessions. We are awaiting financial data from uh, such companies as IBM. Here you can see uh, that the stock is uh, trying to push higher although the risks are still to the downside because the uh, revenue and the earnings are expected to decline. The same thing is about Netflix. Here there was a recovery from resistance around 340, but um, the situation remains rather um, difficult for the company with the arrival of new competitors and um, potentially lower subscriber growth. So we will see on Wednesday how the situation with the stock develops. There is significant resistance in the area between 370 and 380. And um, also PepsiCo will also uh, release its earnings report on Wednesday. 
and uh, here the company was positively taken by investors so far but there are some factors which may lead to uh, lower results uh, than expected in the first quarter so it uh, is to be seen how the things develop support is located in the area of 100 20.80 while resistance is in the area of 124. This is all for today. Thank you for your attention and subscribe to TradeMo YouTube channel.